Apart from the high cost of feeds, chicken diseases is the major challenge that many farmers deal with in the farm. In this channel, we are dedicated to, to give poultry farmers practical, tested and verified information about using natural treatments to cure chicken diseases. In this video, I want to give you 8 most common diseases affecting chickens and the natural treatments to each of these diseases. And also, I will give you the dosage of each treatment and I will tell you how to identify each of these diseases when they affect your flock. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification notification so that you will be notified every time that I post a video on this channel. Also, if you get value from this video or our previous videos, make sure that you hit that like button. The first most common disease that affect chickens is the fall pox. There are two types of fall pox caused by the pox virus and the first one is the dry fall pox the second one is the wet fall pox the dry fall pox is the when this fall pox attacks or infects the chickens on the outside that is the combs the waters and also around the head of the chicken when we talk about the wet fall pox we are talking about their a full box that affects or infects the respiratory system of the chickens including the mouth, the trachea and also inside the nasal passages. When your chickens get the full box, some of the symptoms that you are going to look out for. Number one is the crusty combs and wattles. The second thing is you are going to see yellow and brown warts on the comb. You are also going to see wounds on the combs and the wattles. You are going to uh, see respiratory symptoms. This is because the wet full box affects are the passages and this makes it difficult for the chicken to breathe. The other thing is you're going to observe weight loss, reduced egg production, uh, ruffled feathers and also depression. The first natural treatment to use is the lemon. If the lemon fruit contains ascorbic acid which is very effective in killing the, this virus. The second important organic treatment to treat fall pox is the palm oil and honey. The palm oil and honey mixture is, is applied on the wounds caused by this fall pox, which helps them to heal faster and also prevent the entry of other disease causing microorganisms through these wounds. The third important organic treatment is the toothpaste. The toothpaste contains fluoride, which when applied on the wounds caused by this fall pox, it helps to kill this pox virus, leading to faster recovery and healing. The second disease is the infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is a very common bacterial disease that causes a lot of suffering to the chicken and if it is not treated, it can cause death. It mostly affects the eyes and the upper respiratory system of the chicken, including causing wounds in the mouth and the nasal passages. Other symptoms from infectious coryza is depression, breathing difficulties, e.g. gapping, and also a reduced feed intake. The organic treatment to treat infectious coryza requires you to have four ingredients and number one is garlic, ginger, lemon and honey. Here is a procedure to make this organic treatment and the dosage to add into the chicken's drinking water. The third a most common disease is the coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is another lethal disease in chickens that affect their intestines and cecum, usually caused by emeria parasites. These coccidio parasites cause damages in the intestines and when they cause these damages, they lead to bleeding and therefore that is why you are going to see blood in the poop 
or the feces of the chickens. Other symptoms of coccidiosis include depression, reduced feed intake, decreased egg laying, and even death if this disease is not treated. Here are the three natural treatments to treat coccidiosis in your chickens. And number one is garlic. Garlic contains a certain compound called allicin and other sulfur compounds which help to kill these coccidio parasites in the intestines of the chicken. Make sure that you take the cloves of garlic, chop them into small pieces and uh, you ponder them using a mortar and pestle. And now you are going to add this crushed garlic into the chicken's drinking water. The second treatment is the pow pow leaf meal. For the dosage, you are going to add either into the water or into the feeds. If you are going to add into the water, you are going to add 150 grams of the pow pow leaf powder into each liter of the chicken's drinking water. And if you are going to add into the feeds, you are going to add 150 grams of this powder into each kilogram or kg of the chicken feeds. The third important organic treat is the green tea powder. In broilers, you're going to add 0.5 grams of the, this green tea per kg of the feeds. And for the layers, you're going to add 2 grams of this green tea powder into each kg of the chicken feeds. The fourth important most common disease is the respiratory illnesses. Respiratory illnesses are diseases that affect the respiratory system of chickens which may be caused by bacteria, fungi, viruses or even parasites. These diseases include the chronic respiratory disease, the avian influenza, aspergillosis, aflatoxicosis and also gapworms. Some of the symptoms are going to see sneezing, coughing, gapping, watery eyes, nasal discharges, you're going to see decrease in feed consumption and pale waters and combs. Here are the organic treatments and the dosages to use to eliminate all these diseases from your chicken. The fifth most common disease that affects the chickens is the Newcastle disease. The Newcastle disease virus is one of the most lethal diseases of chickens, especially for unvaccinated birds. But even after vaccination, it's good to boost the chicken immunity using organic treatment when you see the Newcastle disease signs. Newcastle disease signs include number one, greenish diarrhea, chickens laying thin shelled eggs, ruffled feathers, twisting of the neck, depression, and also sneezing and coughing. Here is a list of the organic treatments to use and the dosage to give to your chickens so that you can eliminate this disease from your chicken. The sixth most common disease that affects the chicken is the rickets and paralysis. And when I say rickets and paralysis, I mean the diseases that affect the nerves, the muscles, and the bone formation of chickens. And these diseases are categorized into three groups or three categories based on the causes. The first category includes uh, diseases that are caused by poor nutrition and especially the calcium to protein ratio should be two is to one and also make sure that your feed contains premixes because they contain important vitamins that help the chickens the second category includes diseases that cause these paralysis it includes diseases like marex disease the newcastle disease and newcastle disease infections and the important thing about these diseases or these infections is that they are they can be prevented by vac vaccination. Therefore, make sure that you vaccinate your chickens against malex and the Newcastle disease because they are the most common infections that cause uh, paralysis in chickens. The third category include one that are caused by injury and toxins. Therefore, make sure that you store the feed of the chickens properly and also make sure that you do good handling and management practices to your chicken. The seventh most common disease is the worms. 
and when your chickens get affected by the worms you are going to see lethargy in your chickens weight loss and also diarrhea which may also contain blood because these parasites cause damages in the intestines so some of the organic dewormers to use include the apple cedar vinegar if you suspect that your chickens are affected by the worms add one teaspoonful to each drinker so that you can be able to kill all these worms number two is the pow pow seed powder the pow pow seed powder also contains an important compound called cucubitacin the cucubitacin is an important compound that helps to kill worms by paralyzing them to death the other thing is by giving sour milk to your chickens you are going to give them in f at free choice for every chicken to be able to fight off these worms the, the fourth important organic treatment is garlic added into the chickens drinking water to eliminate worms from the chickens the seventh important disease that affect chicken are the parasites and when i talk the, about the parasites i'm talking about the external parasites like the mites the lice the fleas not the scaly leg mites and other types of um, parasites that affect the chicken these parasites are very lethal because they suck blood causing anemia another thing is that these parasites can also transmit infection therefore the, it is very important to treat them using these organic treatments number one is using diatomaceous earth dust your chickens using diatomaceous earth or wood ash or you can add this diatomaceous earth or wood ash in the dusting area for your chickens this diatomaceous earth and wood ash can get into their feathers and get into contact with these parasites hence killing them uh, the other important treatment is the neem oil the neem oil contains a lot of good compounds that can be able to kill off these parasites add two teaspoonful in each two liters of water put them in a sprayer and spray the affected areas of the chicken the fourth important treatment is the coconut oil make sure that you smear or apply this coconut oil on the parts especially around the eyes where you cannot spray or put diatomaceous earth you can smear this coconut oil on these parasites for example the mites that attach near the eyes and you are going to be able to kill them 